Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Anya and today is Saturday and that means that we're going food shopping. So we're going to go to Costco today. Very excited because we haven't been there in two weeks. And yes, we definitely need a bunch of stuff. So let's get going. All right, we're at Costco. Santiago's getting the car, well, the, the, the cart to put Sebastian in and all our stuff in there. And um, yeah, I've got a long list. Uh, there's a lot of people because it's Saturday, but it's to be expected and it's going to be great. <laughs> strategize around what time and what day of the week I go to Costco because it was insanely busy very very busy uh, but I did get a bunch of things that I wanted to get and I'm excited about everything I got so I'll show you now and when we were actually leaving Costco we were packing everything up in our car Santiago saw a car across the aisle from where we were parked and it was a Ford Platinum I think it's called and uh, we really liked it we actually expedition. even turned around it's called an expedition and so what's the platinum about it's the edition of the expedition okay so it's a Ford expedition and it's platinum edition um, it looked really really nice we went around it was a black kind of 4 by 4 looking car I don't like anything that looks like round like a minivan but I definitely recognize the convenience of having a bigger car especially when you're gonna have two car seats sitting in the back um, so I don't know the possibilities um, are broadening <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see if we can look into that one maybe we can upgrade in the future to, to something a little bit bigger so that's exciting too okay so we're back from Costco and I want to show you everything that we got did all of the things that I needed to do when I got home baby is fed he's now asleep for his nap so we have a few minutes to go through everything and I did get a couple of just staple items that I just get every single time I go so let me go ahead and show you as I mentioned in my last grocery haul, I love making salads and for that I need some tomatoes and so I got these tomatoes on the vine and they are really really delicious. They're not too large but they're not too small so I could typically eat anywhere from five to six of these in one sitting. What I typically do to kind of supplement that a little bit is go in with cherry tomatoes as well and I really do like these a lot. I think that they're fair priced and they are really really delicious. Also on the same category of the salads, I did buy these tricolor peppers and what I typically like to do with this is that I cut them up in fours. I of course core them, get all the seeds out and I roast them. I just put a little bit of avocado oil on them and I roast them and I leave them in a Tupperware, um, a glass container in my refrigerator for the rest of the week so that when I am ready to make a salad I could just go in there and grab a few pieces and put it into my salad and I really really love it a lot. I also picked up some avocados and these I typically get um, when they're not ripe at all. I leave them out for just a couple of days maybe two or three and then when they become more brown instead of just the the dark green color when they be become like a more brown color I actually put them in the refrigerator and it kind of stops the ripening process so it allows me to go through the whole bag very easily and not lose any avocados in the process or you know how like when they become extra ripe they start getting those little fibers in them 
I hate that. So this allows me to go through the whole bag and feel like I'm eating a fresh avocado every single day. The next few things that I'm going to be showing you is all fruit. And yes, we picked up a lot of fruit. We like to have a large variety of fruit because Sebastian does eat um, three snacks a day and the majority of the time it is fruit. But we like to offer him a variety of things so that he doesn't get used to or bored by just one same fruit item. Today, actually, there were only two things of these all these fruit items that were organic. And first, it was the uh, raspberries, which is nice because I've heard that berries are the ones that you really do want to get organic um, out of you know all of the other fruits like for example bananas or something that you could just peel off the peel is not as important to get it organic now don't quote me and don't go by me because I have no idea but <laughs> it does seem like berries do get a lot of pesticides and so it's important to get them organic when you can um, and so we picked up a, a case of these we also picked up these organic pears and these Sebastian will eat one whole pear for a snack. We also picked up a bag of tangerines. He likes these a lot and these actually are the smaller ones so he will have two of these for a snack and it will typically you know satisfy him and he, he really does enjoy eating these a lot. This next item was a little bit iffy. This is actually the second time I've bought them and it is a kiwi but they are golden kiwis. So inside they actually look a little bit more yellowish instead of green. I really did like them a lot and Sebastian was a little bit hit and miss. Like some days he would eat the whole thing up, some days he was like, eh, what is going on here? <laughs> so um, I decided to purchase them again and see how it goes this time. But doesn't that look delicious like on that, on that picture? It just looks so appetizing to me. So I had to pick them up again. I mean, I definitely did like them. So even if he doesn't eat them, I will. We also got two cases of these and these are mangoes. And we absolutely love mangoes. I mean, Sebastian loves them, Santiago loves them, I love them. So we actually picked up two cases of these. What I typically do is that I get one that is that is good to go, one that is ripe, and then I get another case that looks a little bit more on the greenish side, so it gives us a couple of days to eat through the ones that are good to go, and then by the time we're ready for the second one, it's already ripened. So that's my strategy. I picked up two of these mini watermelons, and this honestly is mainly for me. And sometimes Santiago will dig in and, and have a piece. But I've been craving watermelon so bad in these past few weeks. And then I also picked up this big tub of strawberries. And they are not organic, but I have a plan. I have my Thieves um, Fruit and Veggie Soak, it's called. And with it, uh, I've, I've seen, I've definitely, you know, I've, I've tried it before and, I, and it's amazing. Um, I typically just put these in a large bowl with water, put a little bit of the solution of the Thieves uh, fruit and veggie soak and leave it there for leave it there for just a couple of minutes and after that they're completely clean and then we also get a pineapple so this pineapple is also mainly for Santiago so the same thing applies to um, the watermelon for me as it does for the pineapple for Santiago Sebastian is not that crazy about it but he will have it from time to time and I definitely do enjoy it as well but the one whose favorite fruit this is for sure by far is Santiago so we got it for him so the next two items are just convenience factor type of decisions so sometimes during lunchtime I'm very busy so I picked up these um, organic bean rice and cheese burritos I've had them once before they're not like phenomenal like so amazing they're delicious but they aren't bad either. <laughs> so I typically just make one of these, put a little bit of um, ketchup on the side that I could dip into and it, it's worked out. So when I'm in a rush and on the go and I need something quick, this definitely, you know, it hits the bill. And then this thing I have never gotten before. I have no idea if I will like it or not, but Santiago did see it uh, and it's a, um, 
organic cauliflower gluten-free bites but i am going to give these a try and see how how it goes maybe i could pair up a couple of these it just looks like little tiny bites of uh, cauliflower with like some vegetables mixed in there so i will try to give these a go maybe during one of those lunch times where i am on you know rush rush with one of those bean burritos as well and see how it goes this next item weighs more than my child i think <laughs> i got this big bag of baking soda so i am trying to eliminate a lot of the cleaning products that i currently have at home and replace them with non-toxic clean ingredients type of cleaning products so I am going to be incorporating that baking soda to a DIY recipe that I got from my friend um, to just go ahead and do a soft scrub that will help me clean the, for example, bathroom tub, the toilets, um, maybe even cleaning the stove, the oven, uh, things like that that need a little bit extra umph and of course incorporating in there uh, my essential oils so no artificial fragrances everything very clean natural and non-toxic and that's why i got that huge bag that has made me completely out of breath and then lastly i picked up some clothes <laughs> so i wouldn't expect that you would automatically assume oh i'm going to go to costco and get some clothing but um, Sebastian has actually been needing some around the house type of wear that is short sleeve and is comfortable. So I did pick up these two little items. It has both of them have short sleeve and they're 24 months. He's 18 months right now, but everything that he's wearing, which is 18 months, is being a little tight on him. And I think it's a combination of him growing but it's also the fact that i wash these things regularly and they actually shrink <laughs> so it's a little bit frustrating nevertheless i got more um these pants which are a little bit on the thicker side so i'm not sure how comfortable they're gonna be for the summer but i do have some lighter pants that i can put on him in the interim um this shirt it doesn't have like bottom snaps which i think is convenient if i want to like reach in there for the diaper or something and this one as well it does have the bottom snaps again i do enjoy having them or not having them um I, I see the benefits of both ends and then i also picked up this one so this one's more on the blue side this one's just black white gray my style um and it has this little onesie uh, same type of style both of these actually have snaps and this one has these black pants as well they were really fair priced they were 10 bucks each which i thought was really nice as well i am completely and totally out of breath so these were all of the things that we picked up at costco today i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below if there's any one item that you would actually recommend that i pick up from costco next time that it's like your must have thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not already don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye